Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the I Have a Dream app. Um, this is the app. You click on each of these buttons and it plays a speech. Okay. The first thing in this first video, I'm going to show you how to build buttons with images on them. You know, basically how to build these square buttons that are showing up here. And, and I'm going to start, you know, the whole project from scratch. So I'm going to go back to the project screen in Thunkable and then I'm going to click on create a new app and I'll just call this Dream 2020 and then I'll click on create. Okay, and this is gonna give me a blank palette, right? I'm gonna get my designer with a, with a screen with nothing, nothing in it, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna do is just drag in three buttons um, and you know, notice the style of, you know, the default style of the button is a blue background with white text for who knows, who knows what reason. But what I wanna do is make each of these buttons, you know, show one of those civil rights leaders that that was shown shown before. So you know, how do you put images on on buttons? Um, well, you know, first thing is you got to go find images, and you get these images from anywhere, anywhere on the internet, and you just got to get them on your computer first thing. Now, for the Thunkable book, the drag and drop code book, which is available on Amazon, um, there's a, a company and website called DragAndDropCode.com, and if you go to this Code Camp in a book link, and then book resources. Um, you know, there's some resources for some of these chapters. Um, this we're working on chapter two. The I Have a Dream app is in chapter two, and so if I click on chapter two, you'll notice I've I've got these kind of images already kind of for you. You know, and I've also got some sound clips, um, so you can just kind of make use of these. But really, you could you could do this tutorial using your own images, and and have you know, and not use these at all. But anyway, when you do find an image on the internet uh, and make sure you're not copying the, the page, but the actual image. And like on this website, if I control click and do save image as, and then I can just say, okay, I wanna save the MLK. I wanna name it MLK. I'm gonna put it on my desktop and just click save. And I can do the same with you know these other images. Basically what I'm doing here is is just getting things onto my desktop. It's got nothing to do with Thunkable yet. All right, so let me get this last one of, of Kamala. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've got the images now. And now if I go to Thunkable, I choose one of these buttons and all the properties for the button show up here on the right, whichever one is selected, right? But for this top one, I'm gonna choose the MLK picture. So I can actually add image files and sound files either over here um, in this kind of designer files area. But in this case, I know I want it to appear right on this first button. So I'll just click on the background picture, click on upload files, and then I can just choose them. Okay. Um, and it loads that file. Um, notice it leaves right now the white text and the blue background. So I got to get rid of those. So I'm going to get rid of that text and then I'm gonna get rid of the background color. There's kind of a glitch. It, you notice it did get rid of the background blue, um, but this still shows up as blue for some reason. But anyway, it's gone. Um, and then, you know, I wanna resize this. So I wanna change the width and the height. I'm gonna make the width um, relative size. So relative size means relative to, like in this case, the screen. So, so the button, its parent is the whole screen and and I want it to be like 90% of the of the screen for for my width. Okay, so I'm going to click on there just type in 90 and my width becomes 90 90%. Okay. Uh, relative size is great because you know obviously your device is you're really trying to build an app for a mobile device and it might run on different devices and if you use relative size it'll it'll work on 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 different devices. Um, I'll change the height. In this case, we got three of these things. So I'm just going to make this uh, 24%. Okay. And then I also need to change the resize mode. And I'm just going to choose cover. So make sure it covers the whole area. So I'm almost there, right? I could leave it like this. But if I don't want this circular button, which is the default, um, I can change the radius, the border radius of the button. 75 is what causes the, the radius to be circular, but if I just change that to zero, 
then I'm going to get a square button, which for whatever reason, that's what I'm going to do for, for, for this app. So anyway, there's how you, you'll kind of add images to buttons. Uh, I can do the same thing for the Chisholm picture and the, the Kamala picture. Okay. And that's how you create buttons with, with images. The only other, you know, there's a couple other things with this interface. You need a couple labels. Um, and this label, I think, is supposed to say, you know, you just kind of title it. So it'll say, like, I have a dream 2020. And you can change the font size. So I'll change the font size here to 30 um, and get rid of my typo here. Okay. And pretty much we're getting pretty close. You know, if I fill these images in or these buttons in with their images, we're getting close to, to, to what you what you need. So anyway, if you're following along, go ahead and, and, and get all the buttons with their correct images on them.